Hey, welcome back and thanks for watching. Today I am making and eating one of the simplest, most straightforward, iconic foods from each of the 50 states. And after I show you how to make it, I'm gonna show you something from its home state that just might blow your mind. All right, today we're focusing on West Virginia. Now what comes to mind when I say West Virginia? Until I made this video is pretty much one of these things. But after today, there's a couple more things to add to the list. Before we get started, that's right. You know where that button is, and don't forget the bell. I'm almost done with the 50 most iconic foods from each state, and you are not gonna wanna miss the finale when I count them down. All right, back to West Virginia. First, who knew that West Virginia was so Italian? Other than, I guess, the Italians. Back in the early 1900s, Italian immigrants made almost one third of West Virginia's foreign-born population, and they haven't gone anywhere. The Italian American Heritage Festival in Clarksburg, West Virginia is one of the biggest in the country with over 100,000 people coming every year. And that leads us to the most iconic food from the great state of West Virginia, the Italian-influenced pocket sandwich the pepperoni roll. Back when coal mining was king, the miners needed something for lunch every day that could either hang out in their lunchbox or even in their pockets and still be good to eat. Leave it up to the Italians to come up with the pepperoni roll. These bad boys couldn't be easier to make. A little dough, roll it out, a little olive oil, pepperonis, mozzarella. Once everything's laid out, you literally just roll them up, pinch them shut, and bake them. 350 degrees for 30 minutes. Eat them hot or put them in your pocket for later. And here's the finished product. Straightforward, easy. It's basically a calzone without the sauce. Now if you want, you can dip them in pizza sauce, eat them like a full sandwich, or cut them up and serve a whole family. All right, while I dig in, here's a little known mind-blowing fact about West Virginia. Did you know? Back in 1955, President Eisenhower directed the Department of Defense to draw up an emergency plan for Congress in the event of a nuclear war. They considered land, transportation, the ability for secrecy, and space, and ultimately selected the Greenbrier, a luxury resort in White Sulphur Springs, West Virginia. That's right, a secret bunker for Congress during the Cold War. So what exactly made this place fit for the entire Congress? Well, it had everything you think an underground bunker would have. It was 750 feet underground, and had over 110 square feet of space. A 25-ton steel door kept out the baddies. Of course, the obligatory spooky hallway to run down as you're escaping nuclear bombs. Buzzing fluorescent lighting. I wonder how many spare bulbs they had packed away. A place to do their day jobs, because we didn't save their skin just so they could sit around all day and play cribbage. Decontamination chamber upon entry. Enough food for a thousand people for 60 days and a kitchen to cook it all. And 110 toilets, because, you know, guns, helmets, riot gear, and a hospital stocked with antidepressants. They even had a jail complete with straitjackets in case any of the politicians lost their minds. The government kept this place up and ready to go for over 30 years. They had a staff from 12 to 15 people. They kept it clean, kept the food fresh, and kept everything ready to go. They even did things like updated all the prescriptions that were needed every time there was an election and new people came into office. All right, so here's the question of the day. If this is a secret bunker, how do I know so much about it? Well, back in 1992, a reporter wrote about it and spilled the beans. A lot of people were really mad about it at first, but it turns out it wasn't a big deal because the place is pretty much obsolete. Think of it this way. Back in the 50s, it took hours for bombers to reach the U.S. airspace from Russia. By that time, Congress would have been on their third cocktail in the bunker. By the 90s, it took just minutes for a cruise missile to reach the U.S. And since the Greenbrier is four to five hours away from D.C. by car and an hour by plane, it kind of defeated the purpose. Now, yeah, I could take the newspaper at their word, or I could verify it with a trusted source. Secret bunker confirmed. Interested in knowing more? You can read a lot more about it at the link below. That's 47 states down, only three to go. Watch for more videos coming soon and check back in a few weeks as I count down the 50 most iconic foods from each state from worst to first. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Until then, thanks again for watching.